Good morning. Welcome back to another video. You're watching the Gen Z channel. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. In today's video, we're doing a point of view version of car hauling. It's a Monday morning. I left from home this morning. Our truck is empty. It was getting serviced last couple days. So I'm headed up to Michigan right now where I'm gonna be loading three pickups. Let's get this day rolling. Let's have our breakfast. Let's have a wonderful day. For those of you who are new to my channel, I'm a 24 year old car hauler. I drive a 80 foot Peterbilt 389. And I've been doing this since I turned 21. So I'd like to say I got my fair share of experience in. So we're headed towards Michigan from Kentucky, my home state, Lexington, Kentucky. And we have about an hour, 13 minutes left before we get to our first pickup. Currently driving through Ohio. The weather is looking really good this week. We're supposed to have some nice sunny days even though it is winter. Poor guy broke down on the side of the road. Looks like, oh, he blew a, he blew a steer tire driver steer tire good luck man wish you luck but as i was saying we're headed up we're gonna be there in an hour 14. we got three pickups for today it's gonna be a big load a tight load we got nine cars a little bit of work but we're gonna have fun doing it should be right here on the right and these roads are so bad there's the airport here's the enterprise take the second entrance which is right here I hope I took that wide enough yeah I'm good so head to the back and turn around in the back but this guy, this van has to get out of my way because I'm parking next to this fence right here. That's that's where you gotta park to load and unload. Move, boy. I drive in these sandals. When I go to load up, I always put on my big boy shoes. Alright, so here's our truck. I always grab two packs of gloves with me when I go trucking. Just in case it rains or snows so that my hands don't get cold. I change my gloves out, grab my stick. We're going to be loading two chargers. We're going to put one on the first position and one over here. So when we're putting a sedan here, we gotta raise this up so that it's flat because the sedan is low. That's only if you're doing SUVs. Uh, fix our straps. Well, set up my trailer, get it ready for loading. Uh, the bosses were doing service on the truck, so they threw in these ramps. I never throw them in. I always leave them out. And they slid in the bottom ramps too far. You're giving me more work, boys. <sighs> okay. Let's get this trailer set up. We're in a rush today. We gotta load up three pickups and make our way down to Tennessee. Who knows if we can make it there today. We'll see. All right, our bottom rack is all slid out. They did a great job. They put graphite 
on all the metal. So it's sliding really nicely. We're gonna slide our ramps out. All right, so we met our trailer bridge to our truck. Now we're ready to go grab the cars. So I gotta bring my paperwork with me and get the keys for the cars. Well, look at me, so smart. So these are actually at a different address and I already set up my whole trailer for that at this address so now i gotta close up my whole trailer and head back out a few minutes up the road they say Woo, this is fun got my trailer back in its original position remind me next time to go check if the cars are here before i set up that whole trailer all right so a few minutes down the road seven minutes show me that it's at a bank credit union i don't think so i see a lot right here looks like a rental lot which is right before the credit union so i'm gonna go here and hopefully the cars are there all right so i am here i need to figure a way out how to turn around go this way Let's hope I don't get stuck here. Please tell me I don't for didn't forget my stick. Please tell me I didn't forget my stick at the other yard. If I didn't grab it, I'm screwed. Moment of truth. If my stick is not here, I am screwed. Man, how dare me forget my stick? What is wrong with me? Well, it looks like I gotta load them up either way and then drive back five minutes to the other yard and grab my stick. Alrighty, we're here. We're at the other yard. I forgot my stick when I was setting up my trailer at the other place. I threw it down on the concrete, put everything back how I was supposed to, except for my stick. Drove seven minutes here. Here are our two cars that I got to load. I got a black one, a blue one. That blue one I'm going to put on first, and then that one I'm going to put behind sleeper at the bottom. We're just going to have to hand tighten the straps as much as we can, and then drive five minutes to the other yard and grab our stick and tighten them hard but yeah that's our only option because if i go there right now and come back it's gonna be another whole 20 minutes before i get these to get loaded so i'm gonna take photos of these and then load them up our trailer is set up let's get in this car and let's put it up there There we go, and we made it. You break on, let's put them straps on. Alrighty, so we got our first car on. Let's put our second car on. We 
met the bridge to the truck at the bottom and the second car is a black car over there in the past almost four years not once have i forgotten my stick anywhere and then here we are today it's a monday four years later and i forgot my stick guys used to tell me like oh i forgot my stick and they tell me every week oh i forgot it here i forgot it there good thing i'm only five minutes away i can go back and grab it the only sucky part is i gotta drive with the cars not being fully tied down but we'll have to manage let's put this car on and let's go grab the next let's put this car on and let's grab the stick and then we're gonna go grab our next load This car is kind of long. How much space do we got here? We still got some space, look at that. Not too much. There we go. All right. E-brake on, windows up, keys in place. Let's go. Bumper is kind of long out here, but it's not an issue. Ooh, somebody forgot to put that back in place. Let's hide this trailer. What do we got here? I think I'm gonna drive it back a little more because we're sticking up too much in the front. Be careful to not roll forward since we already hit hit our trailer. All right, that's good enough. Perfect. Put these straps on. Do it tighter than that. There we go. All four straps on always. No excuses. go lower this deck down a little bit I'm gonna lock this pin here so it doesn't come down anymore all right that's it that will do for now for the next five minutes everything's ready to go let's go get that stick Okay, we got eight minutes to go back to the first yard that we were at. We got a big downhill right here, so we got to raise our trailer. Can't see anything out of this window. Let's go. Back. There it is, laying there. Some rookie driver left his stick. Let's go get that stick and tighten this load. Let's get it tightened.
put this away in a safe spot where it belongs and let's head to our next pickup 45 minutes 48 minutes to our next pickup and we're gonna be picking up four cars from the next pickup the reason why I loaded the Dodge Challenger at the bottom of the sleeper is because we're gonna be putting a truck on top of the Dodge Challenger I mean Dodge Charger not Challenger and then we're gonna be putting two Grand Cherokees and a Wrangler on top of the trailer and then a third pickup we got three equinoxes where we got to put them at the bottom of our trailer so it's kind of a big load and I don't want to overload my trailer so I want to put the truck on the I want to put the pickup truck that I'm picking up on my second pickup on my truck so not on the trailer confusing pickup truck on the truck but you'll see once I get it loaded here so we're pulling in here to our next pickup and we got to do a u-turn on the main road and we're blocking two lanes with our trailer because these u-turns are always so tight let's start inching our way out get cars to stop that lady wanted an insurance claim that's for sure she saw me pulling out and she switched lanes into the lane that i was stopping at all right made our way around there's the traffic we caused and here's our dealer she said to take the second right and head towards the back so let's crawl on over into this lane so I got all my keys we have our first truck here red jeep over there Grand Cherokee and Grand Cherokee so they're all right here let's do some photos of them and start loading them up we're gonna connect our trailer to our truck we're gonna be loading a pickup truck over top of that charger there Ooh, why is that heater on it's nice and warm in here too warm so I like to put in four-wheel drive just in case we peel out anywhere rather not peel out drive it right into these buckets maybe I'm actually gonna open those buckets buckets more that'll give us better height Why doesn't the e-brake release on these things whenever you start gassing it? You can burn your e-brake like that. All right, we're in. Always put in park, pull in the e-brake, close the windows. Make sure you shut it off. We got our next car here we gotta go put it up on the number three position we're gonna be putting it backwards that's what happens when 
the braking system kicks in because it thinks you're trying to run into something. All right, let's see. Yeah, we might not be able to go too close. We might be too close here. Actually, I think we're gonna be good. Two feet is the rule. So once I put in the second car here, we're gonna see if we can drive that one up a little more closer here. Straps are in on both sides. Strap her in by hand. go make it tight this is the tight part to get in since we already got a car down here it's a little harder to get in here but it's still doable what I usually like to do is uh, once I already got all the straps on I lower it how it's supposed to be lock the pins in and then over here two four open holes four and a half then i come here two four This side's a little tighter. I have to pick it up a little bit. Double check. Oh, we're too close here. I'm gonna pick it up one hole. We're good by the hood. So I'm gonna pick it up here one hole on both sides. There we go, that's better. A whole fist fits. All right, so our truck part is done. Everything's strapped in, everything's lowered. We're not gonna have to come back to that anymore until we measure the height. So we're done with the straps over here. We moved them all aside. Let's go grab three more cars over there. We got our next car here. We gotta go put it up on the number three position. We're gonna be putting it backwards. It might be tight on the top of the trailer since we got a pickup truck two Grand Cherokees and a four-door Wrangler but it's all right we'll make it work that's what happens when the braking system kicks in because it thinks you're trying to run into something All right, let's see. Yeah, we might not be able to go too close. Actually, I think we're gonna be good. Two feet is the rule. So once I put in the second car here, we're gonna see if we can drive that one up a little more closer here. Yes, sir. Let's back it on. We'll see if this works. I'm gonna watch 
watch the camera, see how close we are and how close we can get. I think we got enough room to get down in the buckets. Yeah, that's the most you can go. And this is our last one, the American favorite Jeep Wrangler. I always get confused when I get into one of these cars and I'm looking for the window lever to go down. It's not here. And Jeep's always right here. Yeah. Really not used to that yet. They should have enough space. There we go. Perfect. Look at that, more than enough space. Two Grand Cherokees on the trailer and one Wrangler. Kinda tight here, but good. And we got more than two feet here for turning space, so we're good here. Let's strap all these in, tighten them down, and we're gonna head out of here. Start with this side, put all the straps around the wheels, make it to the other side and then the stick is waiting for us on that side so that we can come back around one more time that way we don't have to walk around the trailer a hundred times strapping each wheel individually straps go on like cake and we're done with this side finish the other side and strap it in oh yeah we're having tons of fun out here strap it in because you don't want these cars flying off of you Ooh. you know how strong you can get after tightening this thing for like four years become a car hauler they said you'll get fit they said Honestly, it worked for me. It's getting too close over here. That's fine, we'll just do this. Lift it up a little more in the middle here. You just gotta lift up that side. That'll be good. So everything is strapped in good clearance there between the Jeep and the truck good enough here we're gonna measure the height right here lower down the trailer onto the pins all right what do we got here oh right exactly at 1310 This is our left turn and we're gonna get out and go look at our radius and we're good this is what I'm looking at right here so that this car don't touch that car once we pick this thing up we're gonna have to double check it again but that's our exit way let's get going you're gonna have to slow down and let me through
miles. And we're pulling up here. So I believe that's our dealership right here. And I have been here one time before. I've been here once before. I'm not mistaken, I have been here before. Car carriers, use Glenwood. Oh no. Oh no. What is Glenwood? No, I haven't been here before. Glenwood. Glenwood, okay. Why did I just do that? Oh boy. Okay. Yeah, I have not been to this dealership. Maybe I should have called. Look at that big entrance. Three more cars and we can hit the road. All right, we have made it. We got our top rack picked up. We got these three cars right here that we got to load up. Should be easy. Let's get them on. Let's look what we got here. It's pretty tight there. And look at how close we are here. The only issue is this might not be enough turning radius once we load these on. So let's get them on and see what we're looking at here. This one always gets backed on. This is a little bump you gotta get over without hitting that back car. Ah, uh, we got plenty of space back there. All right, and they're all strapped in, tied down. I'm about to finish lowering this car, and then I'm gonna lower the top. I hope that it's gonna give me enough space between that truck and that Jeep over there. Oh, that's too tight. Let's keep lowering it. Please, please get further. <laughs> All right, so this is what we're working with right now. We got all right distance here. We might make it here. Two, four, six. Dot. Ah. Let's make it one then. We got enough space. One. Dot. Two, four, six. All right, we good. I'm gonna remeasure this height over here. We're at 1310 here at the first pickup. Let's lower this, these decks down. All right, clearance. That's clearing everything. Let's check here. This is gonna be good. Look at that, not even 13 feet. This is gonna be the tall one. Oh, 
13.7. Not bad at all. Could have went even more forward over here. And 13, two and a half. This one was a little bit more tougher, difficult, since the cars are long. We got three different pickups. We can't really put it exactly how we want it since we got three different pickups. But we made it work. 13.7 right there. 13, 13, 10. And that's at least two feet space between that and that. So we should be good turning radius there. That's it guys. Thank you for watching. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.